Warning, the following video contains MLP related content. It also contains at least one or more of the following. Cursing, violence, immature jokes, funny reactions, or verbal and not safe for wear content. If you do not wish to view anything that may contain any of these, please immediately go to your previous page. Otherwise, stick around and enjoy the show. Hello everyone, I'm Bus24 and I am back for another reaction! This time around, we're taking a look at another video from Tio Rafa. This is Rainbow Factory Part 3. Okay, I highly recommend you go and take a look at Part 1 and 2 from Tio Rafa's channel first before taking a look at my reaction on this one. Because otherwise, you're going to have, like, no idea what's going on here. Um, but I I recently took a look at the second part, and especially, like, how it ended and everything. And, oh boy, we're definitely probably going to be seeing some, uh, some really dark things coming up. I know I said definitely, probably, and it's like a double like contradiction, but, eh, whatever. I can't use my words today, but... Hopefully it'll come back into place while watching this, <laughs> although that may it may not necessarily be true given that uh, last time it was a dark side reaction. So who knows? There's probably going to be more stuff in here that's going to like ah, freak me out. But we'll see. Um, this is about oh, wow. It's actually about like 12 minutes long. So uh, oh, gosh. Uh, without further ado, then I guess we'll go ahead and jump in and uh, see what happens in three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, I actually missed this intro. It's so, like, catchy and everything, and I can see, uh, Ever's OC up there in the little timeline up there, the little all-green one. Oh boy, here we go. Following video contains violent scenes that may be unsettling to some viewers. Uh, yeah, it's Rainbow Factory, of course it's going to be unsettling. See patrons of Tio's Arrower. <gasps> oh my gosh, you had to just like fetch on the cloud and fell! It's like so many. Why are you just staring at her wings? Hey, Emma! Woo! Emma's animated! Nice. Everything's fine there! But in reality, it's pretty freaking grim! Oh gosh. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of former ponies. Hmm? Hi. Gonna go meet with somebody. Three. I probably I probably missed like an Easter egg or something. There. There's usually a reason for why that doofy ass face in the elevator. There's usually like a reference there. Bobo's on the elevator. I see that. Tio puts in a lot of little references to like inside jokes or other people that he knows or are friends with. He'll just like toss them in the background and stuff, so... It's kind of like a hunt for everything there. Like, there was somebody just there, but I have no idea who that was. Question is... is what is he going to do with this other pony that he's meeting? Room 15. Mm. <laughs> He's got his coffee. Mm -hmm. Hey, bruh. How's it going, bruh? We're going to 16? Yeah. You got the ponies? Mm. What do you mean, all the ponies? Get experiments <laughs> on them. Oh my gosh, one of them's just spinning right round, baby, right round, like a rolling record. <laughs> and one of them just can't stop pooping. <laughs> but then, like, there's a few of them here who are actually look happy to be here. I think that's supposed to be Menno? Uh oh. Are they choosing which one to take out first? Three? Oh, bye! What? Nutty? Mm -hmm. 
He's okay. I like how even this associate is just like not fully aware of like everything here. There's some things that he's just like, wait, what? I don't care. I heard I don't care. I don't know who said that. What are you looking at? Is he or is he not a part of your crew? I'm just waiting for like the turnaround here. Uh, I guess that's just hopeful thinking. Oh, you're in critical condition. Ouch. I remember. That thing got yeeted. Hi. You're way too happy. You're way too happy. It's a little disturbing. I like how you communicate with. So <laughs> Professor, hmm, at your service. Okay. What the flip? What? Okay. There's a lot of confusing stuff going on here. I'm afraid to know what this does. Oh, they're being like teleported. Whee! Where am I going? This guy don't even give a shit. That was genuinely scared. That would probably be my normal reaction. What the hell happened to that? Then what the fuck are you? So many questions! So many questions, so little time! I guess they're getting ready for the next, like, shipment or something, but... Oh, there's Theo. Still in the container. <laughs> I'm hungry, damn it! But he's just faking it. Honey? What was that? Hi. Um. I'm wondering what that little, like, green blip that he did was. Uh-oh. I remember this! I remember seeing this happening in the second part to different ponies! This is not a good thing! Oh boy. No! <gasps> what? Hack! Freaking body swapping? What? <laughs> hey, bitch, you were a thought? Oh, okay, thing went from zero to a hundred. How long is that bubble shield gonna last? This freaking Robo Pony needs to piss off! Bye. Don't tell you, bruh! Wait, what a goat? Yeah, there you go. Can we maybe just like throw that at the console? Okay, well, that works too. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, that's the thing that he was messing with. Do it! Hold on, I'm a crunk! No, don't break it! Well, okay, I mean, I guess breaking it's fine, but, like, at least make sure that it stops it before you break it. Hello! What is up with this one? Like, there's all, there's all kinds of, like, questions I need to ask about that one. Like, yeah, it's a machine, but there's a lot of, like, weird things. Yeah. Ooh! Boom, headshot! Ouch. 
What is that, like, blue thing that keeps, like, electrocuting? Is that gonna do anything? Hi. Ooh, he's back. And he's pissed. Run! <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? Get out! Dude, whatever is on the other side of that thing is not happy. Hi. Huh? Honey? Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, I'll deal with the damn intruder. Wait, what? <laughs> Lol. Uh. Hmm? Ah! <laughs> You're just blindly rushing in. There you go. Oh. Welcome to Fight Club, bitch! <laughs> oh gosh. And Tio is still just stuck up there. Like, they're both just stuck up there, not able to help. Oh gosh. Heads up! Motherfucker! Ow. What the fuck? Wait, there's crystals in there. Is it like the crystallized energy or whatever for from the machine? So many questions! Your eyes are like bloodshot. Do you love that one? Mm. Yeah, I knew he was gonna ask that. Cool. You'll both die together. <laughs> Why do you have a diamond pickaxe? This ain't Minecraft. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Free! No! Hello. <gasps> oh. So, for those wondering, that one in uh, part two kind of lost their horn. But it looks like they're still finding a way to use magic at, like, the last moment. Okay. Also, this means that there's going to be a part four, so we'll get it. <laughs> hey! I saw that! You put me in the corner again, Tio! I'll make sure to have my camera move so you guys can see that. And then the herd of patrons. It's like an army. Ah! <laughs> Behold the armada! This patron thing's actually grown quite a bit, so congratulations to you. Thank you very much for the support. I. Sure, they're all hap happily supporting you. Got that many of them, like, good job. Oh, a little bit extra. What the flip? <laughs> um, what did I just see? <laughs> He's so confused. <laughs> okay, well, honestly, given how kind of dark things are getting in this it's good that Tio put something so stupidly silly at the very end like after the credits and everything just to make just to lighten the mood after seeing everything that's going on so I appreciate that that was actually a really good touch um there's a lot of questions that I need answered in this um when I revisited part two I noticed there was a option in the YouTube annotations to turn on the subtitles for English. There's no direct vocal said, but there are subtitles to imply what it is the character is saying or thinking when they were doing things in part two. 
I wasn't able to get those to be turned on for my reaction here because I don't watch them through YouTube. So I'll have to watch them later on uh, after I'm done editing and everything to find out what the actual things were that they were saying. If that's even available yet for number three, I didn't get to check. But if there's some extra like information to show what the character's actually thinking or, or what they're actually saying, I'm going to go take a look at that before finding out what you know what happens in part four whenever part four comes out just that way i'm a little bit more prepared because yeah i wish this had dialogue but since it doesn't i'll just try and get what bit i can get out of it for now though based off of just what i've seen here there's a lot of weird contraptions and stuff in this building that we don't or at least i don't certainly know <clears throat> what it is that they do and right there towards the end they were about to do the they were about to basically kill Tio and um i'm gonna totally forget this other one's name i think it was ink vat i think was the other one and then it literally all hell started to break loose and then all of a sudden this other Pegasus just comes out of nowhere and just starts ready to slam jam and just freaking tussle with uh with the whole, you know, Rainbow Factory crew. And I'm just like, what the flip is going on? <laughs> it was cool, but definitely a little unexpected. But I guess that's what kind of makes this interesting is all the unexpected twists and turns. <sighs> Like I want I wanted to say something when it first happened, but I didn't want to get any kinds of ideas as to what could happen in it. But I feel like if I was the one stuck on that uh machine and was about to get injected with that or get impaled with that needle, I feel like the Pegasus busting in to the place would be ever. I honestly feel like that would be the case. Honestly, that role could be flip-flopped either way. Me busting in to save her or her to bust in to save me. Either one would be legitimately viable for our two characters. <laughs> like, it could happen either way. So, seeing that happening in there and just, like, how she actually stopped fighting for a second to try and get, you know, the other pony out, it just made me think, like, this is exactly how it would play out for us. So it, it made me feel like extra protective of those OCs. He's like, no, nothing happened to him. Don't, don't. <laughs> so I don't know what's going to end up happening here, but it looks like, it looks like, I believe it's Inkback again, but that one who was about to get nailed is, is literally snapping and to the point because they have no more horn, but they are still forcing magic out through where the horn used to be at. So it's going to hurt them like hell. But they're still going to try and get anything that they can out of it. Even if at that point it's going to end up costing them their own life, it seems. So, <clears throat> it's going to probably be dark again when number four comes out. But when it comes out, I will take a look at it and probably be afraid to see what happens. <laughs> all in all, though, it was actually still really enjoyable, despite a very, uh, type of topic. But... Oh, boy. And, of course, Tio had to, of course, include the little little ponytail sprite of me just going, eh, in the corner, because... Because Tio's a bobo. He knows it. We all know it. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's honestly going to be all I can say for this, everybody. So, if you enjoyed this video, at least have much as I did, then leave a like down below. But most importantly, click the description down below and go take a look at Tio Rafa's stuff, because he's got plenty of other... Ponytown based animations to look at besides the Rainbow Factory series. So I would suggest you go take a look at those while we away for part four of this one. But like I said, that's going to be it. So I thank you all for watching. And until next time, this is Pretty Much 44 saying, see you guys later.